So hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our virtual tour of the Five Star All-Inclusive Paradisus Los Cabos. We're super excited to show you this um, creative and unique uh, presentation. So it's actually more of an experience than it is a, a presentation. So before we get started, I'm just going to do a couple of housekeeping notes. So first of all, I have to thank Ron Warner, who is on mute and his camera is off, but he has been instrumental in working with me and creating this presentation and this experience. So thank you, Ron, for everything you're doing. And thank you for driving this so I can focus on uh, speaking with Claudia. Um, all of you will be muted throughout this presentation. Um, and you will be able to post questions in the chat box. So Ron Warner will actually manage the Q&A at the end of this. So as you're going through, please post your questions and Ron will take those and we'll uh, pitch them over to Claudia so that she can answer. Um, and then of course, we're gonna do everything we can to answer all the questions that we get. Um, and we're really prioritizing Paradisus Los Cabo. So um, the final thing is all of the slides, all of the presentation that we're doing, we're all pre-COVID. And I think we can all understand why that is. Um, so the, the, um, pre, you know, the post COVID stuff will be coming out in the next coming weeks. And so please join us for our stay safe with Malia webinars, um, which I'll show you at the end of this presentation. So with that, we'll just move on to the next slide. So since we can't be on the property, um, Ron and Claudia and I decided that we would bring the property to you. Um, so I'm super honored to be joined by our guest speaker, who's Claudia Rodriguez. She is our director of sales for the Cabo Cluster. Um, she represents the Mi Cabo and Paradisas Los Cabos here at the Malia Hotel. So Claudia, thank you so much for your time today and walking us through this amazing property. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. Uh, we are honored to have you all here today at Cabo, and uh, we're going to walk you around the property and show you the terrific in the facilities that we have for all your groups. Fantastic. Well, I hope everybody has um, easy walking shoes, um, easy to walk shoes on. Um, so welcome to the Paradises Los Cabos. Um, we are situated halfway between Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo with only a 20 minute ride. So we're very centrally located. Um, this property was impacted in the hurricane of 2015. So Malia actually rebuilt it and reopened it as a paradisus in 2017, which we were all very excited about. And I know several of you on this call have actually been um, lucky enough to go to the property. Um, so it's situated on one of the only swimmable parts of Los Cabos Beach and it features 350 guest suites seven fine dining restaurants, and over 15,000 square feet of meeting space, which is always exciting for those of us in the meetings and incentive industry. All right, so here's how this is gonna go, guys. We have an overview map of our property where the front arrival area is over by the number one. So if you look to the left of your screen, um, we've outlined for you in the blue dots the path that we're gonna take on our tour today. So we're gonna stop in seven different areas. Um, throughout the tour, we're gonna refer back to this map so that you'll be able to see what areas you just saw, which will be highlighted in yellow as we move forward. I'm sorry, it will be highlighted in red. Um, and then the areas that you're going to be going to next, which will be highlighted in yellow. So the, the idea is to give you a sense of your walking through the actual property. So with that, so the number one um, marks our main lobby area and the check-in area and our starting point for this tour. So Claudia, take it away. Thank you, Brandy. So welcome to Paradisos Los Cabos, everyone. As you can see from the front lobby, there is a real sense of arrival at this property. Here, you can see the opener lobby area with the check-in desk on the left and then the avenue bar on the right. This image was taken when it was night, but believe me guys, when you check in, most of the flights that go into Cabo arrive during the day. So let's walk to the front desk. So here we have the main check-in area. We also have two other, op uh, two other options for individual check-in. And uh, further, we will show you a unique area that we have for groups to check in. So here we are walking through the uh, main lobby and then we have a beautiful terrace where you can see the ocean. We also have uh, the Avenue Bar. We have uh, the extension of the Avenue Bar Terrace, which are amazing areas to enjoy when you walk into the property or in the evening before going to dining. It's a right, uh, perfect place to, to have a delicious margarita. 
And I love the margaritas at this bar. So the, they will make all kinds of special uh, margaritas, including the, how do you say it, Claudia? The cucumber margaritas? I say pepino. The cucumber pepino. are my favorite. Yes. So fresh. So let's walk into the Avenue Bar. Please follow me. As we start the virtual part of the tour, our starting point here is once again the lobby, including the check-in desk at the Avenue Bar, which is a central gathering point during the day and throughout the evening hours. This bar features a fire pit. They also have a delicious gourmet coffee uh, during all day. And of course, the best cocktails, as Brandy was saying, are served in the Avenue Bar. The terrace is also a terrific option, and you can feel the fresh breeze of the ocean at all times. So we have uh, in this area is the most common area where we set the welcome uh, checking desk for your company. So um, we're going to move to the adjacent to Avenue Bar into our gastro bar restaurant. This is the only restaurant that has a surcharge attached and is a food lover's dream for the creativity of the tasting menus, coupled with a wine tasting experience. Each course is carefully explained by the waiter and followed by the sommelier's explanation on why a particular wine was chosen for that course. This is a truly gastronomic experience and it's only open for dinner. So that is important for all of us because we can cater special functions during the day. This is a, a favorite place for VIPs to have a small meetings during the day. The holding bar uh, right at the entrance of the restaurant is one of also of my favorite places at night to have a drink and talk a little just be ha before having dinner. I highly recommend you to experience the gastro bar when you come down to Paradisus. Which we all hope will be very soon. Thank you, Claudia. <laughs> you will be welcome. So let's keep walking. We're going to go on the other side of the gastro bar restaurant. It's a completely different dining experience, which is our Mexican fine dining restaurant called Mole. This is one of the most popular restaurants for our guests. They want to experience the real Mexican food. So we have on one side the decor of this restaurant truly complements the authenticity of the array of scrumptious Mexican dishes on the menu. My favorite, obviously, the one and only guacamole and the tacos. Uh, they, they get to see how they prepare a traditional Mexican taco with the soft tortilla but we also have fine Mexican dining. So it's one of our favorite places. And I super recommend that you have at least one night dinner here at Mole. Great, thank you. I also know that being in Cabo and having some of the most amazing fish available, they have some great fish um, dishes that, that I always try to eat there whenever I get to come visit. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Claudia. So now that we've covered that upper lobby area, we're actually going to take the stairs. I hope you're not all too tired um, to move one floor down to the lower lobby area. So this is where our shops and the majority of our restaurants are located. Perfect. Walk with me. Here we are now downstairs, the main lobby. We are walking inside our Vanna restaurant, which is one of the three in one Japanese fusion fine dining restaurants. We call it three in one because we have three completely different dining experiences available in this one restaurant. We offer a nation a la carte dining, but we also have a sushi bar area. Plus, we have the even popular teppanyaki table experience. This is an interactive dining experience where the food is cooked right in front of you in true showmanship style, a real unique experience. Also, if you want to stay a little bit later, after 11 p.m., a DJ comes in and a place lively, and you can stay for cocktails up to 1 a.m. I hope you like this restaurant. So we're going to continue walking in this lower level, and we're going to walk into our Naos restaurant. 
This restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's our more casual assisted buffet restaurant. It's a, now it's a complete with a chef action station, servers providing an array of culinary options to our guests, and a full service drinks and desserts as well. Dining here is a truly an international culinary experience. We also feature an open air or al fresco terrace that is surrounded by our organic garden. I love this garden because literally when you are having breakfast or lunch, you can see our chefs walking out the kitchen, going into the organic garden and cutting some of the natural flowers or some ingredients to prepare dinner. So it's a very interesting experience. So let's walk out of Nao's restaurant. And now we're gonna walk in in the adjacent restaurant to Nao's. It's a our terraza and market grill opener restaurant. This restaurant overlooks the lush gardens of the property with the beach in the forefront. This restaurant is open for lunch and dinner and is an Italian steakhouse. When we have large groups in house, we open this restaurant as a continuation of Naos to accommodate more guests at the same time. This is one of my favorite places to have breakfast. So let's continue our tour. Now we're gonna walk a little bit farther adjacent to this beautiful restaurant. We're gonna go and right there, we're gonna see the gym, and the entrance to the G Beauty Salon. Beyond the restaurants on this lower level, you will find the full service gym that it's open 24 seven and the beauty salon that we uh, will be providing manicure, pedicure for the moment. Let's walk into our spa, if you agree. The spas is, are always my favorite place in Earth. <laughs> Mine too. So, um, it's also located on this lower level, is adjacent to the beauty salon. There we have our signature G spa. As you can see from the uh, picture, guests can register at the spa reception and are then directed to their respective change rooms to enjoy the relaxing spa pool, which is what we are seeing in this picture. What I love about this pool because you can trust I've been there, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you can see the ocean. So it's very secluded, very private. We have five private treatment rooms for their private treatments. So it's very cozy, very elegant. Please, I will, if you come and visit me, I'll make sure to get to experience our spa. Great. And Claudia, for post-COVID, uh, post -COVID, excuse me, for post-COVID, we will have the spa open, correct? Is that Definitely. We okay. reduce the bookings to the 50% capacity. That will mean if we have six cabins, now we will only allow to book three cabins at a time. Great. Excellent news. Thanks so much, Claudia. So, um, Jan, I need to be there now, too, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so now that we've covered all of the many guest experiences that are available to um, everyone in the main building, we are going to move back up to the upper lobby level and take you into the convention and meeting space area. So before Claudia takes over, I just want to remind you, we've not had an opportunity to do the 360 video post COVID. So as you see the uh, meeting spaces, just know that um, we will be redoing them as soon as we possibly can. Okay, Claudia, take it away. Thank you. Let's walk into the foyer. This is our pre-function space of the convention area. As you can see here, we have a built-in desk in the right that can be used for private check-in area. As we can offload boxes right in front of this area and completely bypassing the main lobby, the door that you see behind the check-in desk is where our CSM team is located so that they have are always close by to assist you in any way they can. In the background, you can see doors to some of our breakout rooms. It's very spacious, very clean, very neat, and that will allow us to handle the new capacities that we will have to be uh, get to used to 
And in the following uh, images, as Brandy was saying, we will see the setup, the previous, the situation we are living now, but it's almost uh, a, with the five feet space between participants, it, it will be among a 50% uh, reduction in the capacity. But again, we will work a case by case, making a tailor-made setup. Remember, we have social tables available, so we can work with you to show you the capacity of each of the needed setups. So here, we see our main ballroom that is divisible into four breakout rooms, two large and two smaller parts. As you can see, we have video mapping capabilities with built-in state-of-the-art technology. So this uh, meeting room, our guests like it very much because all uh, besides the large screen we can set up, all the walls are white. So they are able to do video mapping and, and be as creative as needed. Let's walk into the adjacent smaller rooms. We are going to take a look to one of our five other standalone breakout rooms, all which have built-in screens and are located off the main convention foyer that we saw earlier. You know, again, same decor, white walls, which I love them because it's so easy for our guests to project logos or to put the, the image of the guest. So I, I think these meeting rooms are a great asset for the meeting segment. For sure. Thanks, Claudia. Um, yeah, this space is very compact and it's all in, you know, encompassed into one area. So I, I do love this space. Um, and I know we're gonna have some, um, some great meetings even after um, we all come back with the, the new social distancing or physical distancing law. So now that we've toured the entire main entry building, I think it's time to go to the fun place. So our next path, as you can see on the yellow dot, the yellow arrows, is gonna take us through the inner lush garden. So Claudia, what can you tell us about this space? Yes, please follow me. We're going to walk a couple of stairs to, uh, to go into the middle of the gardens. We are right now standing in a U-shaped hotel with the opening U facing the beach area. This area is the heart of the resort and boasts a charming fire pit seating area as well as a pool facing barbecue area, private booth, ideal for private functions. This area is what makes Paradisus Los Cabos so special among other things because we have plenty space in gardens, plenty space in terraces, and plenty of space surrounding the pool and all of them with all the palm trees overlooking the ocean. It's a super comfortable property. Remember, it's only a 350 room property. So you have the sensation of being the, the one and only guest in the property, no? For sure. All right, so um, now it's time to move into the accommodations, which I know we're all anxious to see. So our accommodation um, at this particular property is divided between four buildings. So you can see we put some numbers on the buildings for you. So building four is up towards the top, and that houses our family concierge rooms. Um, the rest of our rooms are divided between buildings one, two, and three, and they're located at the bottom of the map, right? So our private concierge adult er um, only area of the, of the concierge is actually housed in building three, which would be closest to the beach and the pools, and we'll get there towards the end. Um, so right now, let's go ahead and take a view into what our rooms look like. So yes. our next... Our next stop is gonna be the guest rooms. And the property, like Claudia said, has a total of 350 rooms. And they are divided into three different room types. So we've got the Paradisus Junior Suite, um, which will have either a garden view, an ocean front, or an ocean view. Um, the second category is the swim up suites, which I'm excited to showcase, um, in our concierge area. And then the third and final is gonna be our master ocean front suite. So Claudia, I'll turn it over to you so you can take us through the Junior Suite. Thank you. Let me use my uh, key to open the room. There you go. So here we are inside of one of our Paradisus Junior Suites. We have 314 out of the 350 exactly with this setup. 
even though the view may change from a garden view to the ocean view or even to an ocean front, the actual interior of the room remains the same. Each room has the bathroom and a white wardrobe closet at the entrance and will either feature a king bed or a double bed. That includes a sitting area and a desk area, which then leads into an outside terrace. All rooms have a private modems and in-room safe. So are very neat, very clean, very comfortable. And believe me, the view is amazing, even if it is a partial ocean view. So I want you to guys to follow me and let's walk into our swim up suites. So we have 28 swim up suites. Uh, we have a slightly different interior setup, as we can see in this uh, walking tour. And instead of a balcony, one walks out the seating area into a private outdoor seating area that has steps leading into a private area of the pool. The swim up suites are one of the top selling room types. So make sure you book them ahead of time. Then we are going to walk out of the swim up suites and let's walk in into our master suites. So we feature eight master suites. We have five of these suites in our concierge area in building four and three in the concierge area of building three. These suites boast a separate living room area. As can be seen here, they also have a spacious bathroom area and a closet big enough for two. And of course, a spacious bathroom area, which is my favorite place because you can see the ocean while you're getting ready. It's a beautiful, beautiful suite, very spacious, the walk-in closet. And again, this is one of our top selling suites. Remember that Cabos as a destination is a very exclusive destination. And most of the groups that book Cabo, they want the best of the best. So I highly recommend when you're planning a group into Cabo and you're looking at Paradisos Los Cabos, book those two room types ahead of time because they're the first ones to be sold. Great. I just love this. I love that closet. I, I think I just need to move to your hotel and just come down there and work with you. <laughs> you will be more right. than welcome, Brandy. Thank you, Claudia. So now we are back at our map. So you can see all the red where we've gone. I hope you're not getting too tired and you have your comfy shoes on and your sunglasses because we are going to move outside and we're going to explore our pool and beach front area um, with the different options that we can provide for private functions for your upcoming groups. Um, and then we'll be talking about the Gabby Sky Club, which is one of um, my group's favorites. Go ahead, Claudia. Thank you. So in this uh, part of the tour, we're standing right next to the pool area that overlooks the wide Cabos Beach. It boasts a large swim-up bar area and several areas perfect for private functions, from a cocktail to a party to a sit-down dinner. We are lucky to have a lot of space in, in our open areas. So with this uh, new normality that we will be living, we have plenty of space to reaccommodate the long chairs, leaving five feet between every two long chairs. So for us, we'll be very smooth to take care of our guests in this new era we all are living. So I want you to walk a little bit more with me, please. Follow me to a beautiful terrace that is adjacent to the pool. The terrace that we are about to see is one of the top selling uh, spots for banquets. W w here, we are showing you what one such option would look like for a private sit-down dinner in the pool area overlooking the sea. What is nice about Paradisos Los Cabos is all the front um, area is covered by glass. So we protect at night the guests from the wind, but you don't miss any spot that overlooks the beach and the ocean. Let's continue to see some uh, options for setups. I want you to walk down with me to the beach, please. The Los Cabos Beach is a wide, soft sand beach. 
And here, we want to show you what a private dinner on the beach could look like. As mentioned earlier in, on our tour, we share a swimmable part of the beach with the Hilton that is located next door to us. Remember, there are not many swimmable beaches in Los Cabos, and we are lucky to have one of those. So here we can see the Cocos Bar, which is a full service bar on the back of the picture. And we also have a full service restrooms in the beach area. So this is a very, very popular spot for farewell dinners or welcome cocktails. It's one of our guest favorites. And one of mine. I love yes. that beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. So please walk with me. We're going to go back to the hotel. Adjacent to the beach, we have the Gavi restaurant. Here, we are right by the pool, that its area is open for lunch and can, ha can be privatized for a group dinner. This restaurant features a sunken bar area at the front overlooking the magnif magnificent expansive length of De Los Cabos Beach. This is my favorite place, place to have an aguachile or a ceviche. As Brandy was explaining earlier, the seafood in Los Cabos is amazing, amazing. The flavors is so fresh. So this is a terrific, terrific option to have a beautiful lunch. So on top of the Gabi restaurant, we have an, 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 another exceptional space that can be used for leisure or to take over for a group. This is our Sky Bar. The Sky Bar is, as I was mentioning before, is one level up from the Gabi restaurant and it has an spectacular unobstructed views of the beach and the entire resort. Actually, from November to March, you are e easily you are able, able to see the whales and the dolphins or the stingrays. So we have a very, very vast wildlife during the winter. And again, a perfect for a private reception or dinner. Thanks so much, Claudia. So that is definitely one of the spaces that my customers always request um, for their private events. And um, they're also doing yoga in the mornings, part of the life enriching experiences that Paradisus offers. So um, I think it would be awesome to be doing yoga in the morning on that beautiful terrace and seeing the whales in November. So you might see me down there, guys. Um, all right, so this leaves us with one final area. As you can see, we're now moving on to number seven and we're gonna explore um, and we're gonna head towards our final stop. So this is the concierge and adults only area. So every one of our Paradises brand resorts will feature a similar private concierge area. So Claudia, tell us all about it. Let's spoil everyone. That's right. So <laughs> Here, we are walking into the private concierge lounge. It's my own private check-in area and a private lounge area serving snacks through the day. As well, we also have a private work area set up with computers and a printer. So if you want to have a leisure trip, you can come here and then do your uh, live meetings and then go back into the pool. So this lounge also has an expansive terrace restaurant which again is open for concierge guests for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Once of our, our guests check in, they are assigned a private concierge who will stay in touch with them throughout their stay and assist them. In this new era, because we had it before, in this new era, we will continue using cell phones say, with our concierge. So no matter where you are, you can call your concierge and get whatever you need to spoil your vacation with us. In this balcony is where I usually take an espresso in the afternoons, is one also of my favorite places. So let's go downstairs in the same area, please follow me. We're gonna walk down to see here the front building area. This is building three and faces the beach and, how, and houses our private pool exclusively for our concierge guests. We also have a private area of the beach directly in front of this pool for our concierge guests. As the hotel chain that won top honors for green initiatives last year, we are proud of this part of the beach to have an area protected for the turtles to lay and hatch their junk. On the left 
side of this area, you can see our ocean-facing La Palapa restaurant. This restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner exclusively to concierge guests. Whenever the team comes down, we always have breakfast here. So, yes, we have to confess, we love the good life. We do, we do. All right. Um, so that concludes our tour. Um, I, I, we hope that you're able to walk away with a better understanding of this amazing five-star resort. Um, I can't thank you all enough for your time, and we really, really look forward to welcoming you and your meetings um, in, in person at this property as we um, begin the reopening process. Um, and just so you know, we are happy to have a private presentation for you and your customers as you start to get those leads in. Um, before we open this slide up for any questions, I did want to tell you that our next Malia Pro Travel Labs event um, is going to be hosted by Carmelina Iannarone, um, and we'll highlight meetings um, and events as well as food and beverage. And we do have some amazing um, people from uh, more amazing people from our hotels. Um, Mitzi Torres and Anna Garcia will be coming from Paradise Societal Carmen on July 7th. So if you want to go into LinkedIn and uh, put that one on your calendar, that would be great. Um, at this point, we're happy to open up for any questions that you might have. So Ron, do you want to take a look? And I think I saw a few pop up. And we're back. Okay, can everybody hear me? We sure can. Thanks, Ron. Okay. Let me just get to the chat box here. Okay, so the first uh, question that we have here is from Villa C to everyone. Do you have to be staying in one of the um, royal rooms to get lounge access? That is correct, Ron. They have to make sure to book a concierge level room to make sure they have access to the private pool, to La Palapa, to the welcome lounge we saw before. That's correct. Great. Um, and we have a question from Jan to everybody. How many concierge level rooms are there? Sorry, remember, out of the 350, 314 were non-concierge service. So it, it is almost 30% of the capacity of the property. Sorry, I'm incorrect because some Paradiso Solution Fronts are a concierge as well. So it's 30% of the total inventory. So we are talking about uh, 100 rooms almost. Um, another question from Villa C, and that is, do you need a permit to have a beach event? Definitely, and our conference services managers will assist you to make the proper paperwork in advance the groups arrive. Great. Um, at this time, we don't have any more questions. Uh, we just got one from Lynn McNamara. Are there surcharges for private events? Yes, there are. Not apply for all the events. We have terrific promotions in play, but depending on the number of rooms, the number of nights, and what type of events they want, some charges may apply. Okay. Uh, we have another question from Jan. Do you have a sister property if we have more achievers? I think she's asking if we need to spill over, do we have a hotel nearby? We work very close with the Hilton. It's uh, a, like three minute walking distance from the lobby. So we are great partners and we have done several programs together. Um, next question is from Jan. What is the town that you're closest to? We are in between towns. I will say San Jose is closer. It will say, I, I will say there is, uh, it's only 10 minutes from the hotel to San Jose, but also to get to Cabo San Lucas where the arch is located, it's only 15 minutes. I live there, so I have a very sharp how far is it. Great, thank you. Um, Lynn McNamara wants to know if there were any current incentives out there for her clients. 
we have a terrific promotion that just came out that your uh, director of sales will send you very shortly. I don't want to spoil this or right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Stay Safe with Malia promotion, Lynn, and for everyone on this call has just come out. So you will be getting that this week from us. We're working on it right now. Great um, the, yeah, the next question is again from Villa C. Um, she wanted to know what the transfer time is, which we had mentioned at beginning of the um, presentation is 20 minutes. And is there any ground transportation from the airport to the hotel? All uh, major DMCs at the destination can can serve you from the airport to the hotel. If you want to arrange something directly with the hotel, we do have an in-house DMC. It's Transcabo. They are very professional, and we can arrange this type any type of service that you need it, as subscale or as needed. Okay, thanks. Um, and Jan wants to know if we have any fam trips planned. <laughs> We're working on it, Jan. We're working on it. <laughs> we will, as soon as we're able to get out there, I believe we'll start to see the fan trips come out. Uh, no other questions. Thank you. All right. Well, with that, I am really proud to say that we gave you an extra 20 minutes back in your day. Um, again, thank you all so much. I hope that you get a chance to join our Malia Groups and Meetings um, LinkedIn page, which is where you'll find all of the events um, once they've been recorded, if you're not able to make them. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to have any feedback from you. Um, you know, please send it to your RDOS, uh, me or Ron or Tina, Beatrice, Betsy, Carlos. Um, to let them know if you liked it, if uh, how you think we can make it better, because we're trying to do something a little bit new. I think everybody is right now. And um, I just thank you all so much. And thank you, Claudia, for all of your time and taking us to the property. Thank you, everyone. Have a terrific day. And I'm looking forward to welcome everyone here very soon. All right. See y'all soon. Have a great day. Bye.